there is an image gender gap. In the US, women are the majority of the workforce. They're completely dominating. And globally, one billion women are going to enter the global workforce over the next 10 years. We are holding the vast majority of consumer spending power. Globally, women control $20 trillion. And so why is it that we're so often marketed to in pink? You know, <laughs> it's as if we want tiny pink items that fit into our tiny feminine hands constantly. And what's really surprising, I was reading a study recently about this, about the phenomenon that women control the majority of spending power, and yet 90% of them say that they don't believe brands and marketers actually understand them. So in media, where I come from, this is really a typical image that you see anytime we talk about women in power or trying to balance work and family, you see a baby in a briefcase. Now, has anyone actually put their baby in a briefcase? No, it's a very literal interpretation of what's going on. And in stock photography, you actually see some of the worst images. Um, I guess we're so exhausted from juggling work and family that we just collapse onto computers constantly. Um, like we're just tired. Um, or you know maybe we're, we're boxing our way to the top, we're, we're fighting off the patriarchy, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but these are the types of images that if you search on a lot of stock photo sites or even on Google Images, this is what will come up. You can't be what you can't see. And we hear that line repeated a lot these days, but the point is, if women are constantly portrayed in ancillary roles, in supporting roles, as sexualized, not in power positions, what is that teaching women and girls and men, for that matter, about what they can be in the world? So all over, from politics to business, we're starting to see women as faces of power. Sheryl Sandberg, Hillary Clinton, Christine Lagarde, Michelle Obama. All of these women are not only faces of power, but they're actually talking about being women in power. They're talking about barriers, they're talking about the issues faced, and so they're making this a point, a cultural touch point in the conversation. What we know is that women are dominating almost every social network, from Pinterest to Tumblr to Facebook. They share more often, they engage more often, they have more friends on average. And that's given them a lot of power. You know, I think social media in some ways has become a kind of alternative to this top-down traditional media approach to talking about issues, and specifically to talking about gender issues. So now when there's a gender problem, people are taking to the web, they're starting to talk about it, and, and it's really sparked a global dialogue around gender. What's really in incredible about social media is that it's also allowing for us to express our absolute fatigue with perfection. We're seeing a lot of celebrities like Lord tweeting images of themselves with no makeup. Um, this is a great image where she showed herself retouched uh, in a photo that was going all through press and what she actually looked like that day with acne and with her hair looking imperfect. I'm also fascinated by seeing what the toy industry is doing in the space of gender. Um, we're seeing a lot of companies who are trying to move away from the buckets of girls play with pink and boys play with blue. We've seen Hasbro release the Easy Bake Oven for Boys. Um, and we've seen companies like Goldie Blocks releasing their um, engineering building blocks for girls. Um, and this commercial in the US went viral. It has over two million views. The whole tagline is more than just a princess. Um, and companies like this are really involved in empowering and educating not just girls, but the parents about how to raise people who have more fluid ideas of gender and possibility and expectation. But I think a really important counterpoint to this is seeing the ways in which men are being represented by brands, particularly the ways in which fatherhood is really being elevated um, to a level of heroism. We are starting to see a lot more brands who are showing images of dads as not just the, the guys who get to play around with kids, but who are emotionally available, nurturing, loving, affectionate. And when I see big traditional mommy brands like a Johnson & Johnson or a Tide showing dad in the commercials, that's how I know a real sea change is happening. 
From a Getty Images perspective, I have access to all kinds of great research like this. Our search terms. What are our clients looking for when they go to GettyImages.com? And for the last four years, this has been true. The top three search terms that clients are using on Getty Images are woman, family, and business, in that order. We're also seeing a real shift in our top 1,000 selling images. So of our top 1,000 images, it used to be that we sold more images of men than women. And in five years, that has flip-flopped. And this trend is still going ever upward. The Lean In Collection is a hand-curated collection of imagery. It's the best of Getty Images content in terms of imagery that promotes this more equitable, more gender-fluid, progressive type of world that we want to be creating together. We put images of women in there in positions of leadership in all different kinds of industries um, with a special eye to corporate America, really wanting to depict images of women who are, as Cheryl is so fond of saying, sitting at the table, whether that's metaphorical or the literal table. Um, women who are proud to use their voice to be heard. And we certainly have men in the images as well, but they're in more of that collaborative support uh, kind of uh, role. So in sum, we really hope everybody in this room will help us spread the message of the Getty Images Lean In Collection. There are a few different ways that you can do it. Uh, first and foremost, you can learn more about it by going to leanin.org slash Getty or alternatively by going to gettyimages.com slash leanin. We also have a really exciting campaign called Repicture, uh, particularly uh, in the context of Lean In, hashtag Repicture Women. We want to see your images of what positive, powerful women with agency look like today. So please share your photos on Twitter, on Instagram, et cetera, uh, by using that hashtag.